All right, this is a little demo of the Beacon Simulator Receiver Package. So again, here is my Beacon Receiver, something that would be on your uh, robot platform. We have the Beacon Radio, and then specifically we have the little LED there, which is our Beacon uh, LED indicator. Over here is our uh, Beacon Simulator box. It has a little potentiometer, not a fancy little wheel though, unfortunately, and an on-off switch. Over here on my computer I have just a serial output. It's the output from my beacon receiver um, giving me the serial um, indicator of what heading we should be on. So the value should be between 0 and 179. So I'm going to go over to my beacon receiver, turn it on, and right now I have it a little bit past 0 in terms of the, the output um, angle. And over here you can see the LED turn on about once every three seconds. And unlike a beacon receive from a real beacon, um, I've programmed the LED behavior to be a little bit different. It turns on for three quarters of a second and then turns off. And then three seconds later it'll turn on for three quarters of a second and then turn off um, per the, the programming between the two systems. So over here you can see now a, a big string of zeros indicating the uh, angle. I'm going to turn the uh, simulated angle up a little bit and you can see now that we're at uh, 22 degrees, 30 degrees and actually I should re re rephrase that we're getting a signal of 30 which is actually 60 degrees and I'm going to turn my beacon simulator up even a little bit more and try to go through most of the full range. So again the potentiometer is just uh, angled up so that it's uh, corresponding over the full range of the likely received um, angles that would be coming from the beacon as well. Everything's framed the same so that it should be a drop and uh, replacement for a beacon full rotating Yagi assembly. Scooting back over here you can see the uh, little LED blinking in the same pattern and then our beacon receiver box. There's a little antenna. These are the same beacon receiver setups as uh, was used last year. I've simplified the design a lot and this is just a breadboard wire mess, I'll be honest. Um, but uh, for the most part it's just a potentiometer here hooked into the Arduino. The pins here are indicated in the design document and um, here is our radio. Uh, this little green breakout board is just to connect some of my wires together. Basically I just have a, a ground and a uh, 5 volt power bus and I could solder all those together just easily enough and as I harden this up uh, that's probably what I'll do.